Which is what? 30,000 passports not collected. Yes. Mm. I put the notice in the group from um, the immigration service, did, guys. Yeah. Yes, if you can, if you can. And put the it up. immigration service wants us mm. to think that it's those who applied mm. who are the problem. It can never be. But who is the problem? No, if you are abroad, mm. you have modes by which you can collect your passport. You are, I'm you told have. that. I'm told that you can just sit in your home, you do the application, they or you it, go to they bring undertake it to the you. application, and then it's up, it's given to you. They bring right it. Right now, we you. even have. Uh, Ghana Post addresses. So even if you are living, and we've got in courier services as well. Yes, as well. but you need, you need to opt for that. You need to opt for that. I know that at the DVLA, they would ask so, you yeah. if you want it. The reality is that acquiring these documents have become herculean or a difficulty for ordinary citizens. Yes, yeah, true. Why is it that people will go through difficulties? Sometimes they are even ha they even have to pay goro boys or middlemen. Right. Not the fault of the minister, except, even though those middlemen need to be yeah. uh, eliminated. To go and apply for passport and they won't go and collect them. Sometimes somebody is in haste, needs the passport within a certain time. They know that Maybe I've, I've been given a week or two or a month. But sometimes, or most times, the delivery dates are not met by yes. the ministry yes. or the Ghana Immigration yes. Service. Yes. They shouldn't create the assumption or the perception that it is those applicants who have decided, after going through strenuous effort, to go and apply for passports who decide that they won't come and collect them. Yeah. Never, never the case. If really you don't use any middleman, you go through the process yourself. It is so difficult yeah. applying for a normal passport in Ghana. I keep asking myself, why? But I thought they said you can get it within a few days. It doesn't work When that you way actually Bella. apply. Try. I mean, it doesn't work that way. Try talk, it and see. The talk. Try is, it and see. The talk, I mean, the most, ex the most expensive form, which is supposed to be 150 Ghana cities, is supposed to give you the passport, if I'm to be corrected, in two weeks. In it two weeks. No. And you don't even get that? No, no, no. They, the, no. That, that's the least. Yeah. 150 is for 32 pages. Oh, yeah. okay. And 48 pages is 200 and... You see? 50. Something. And you these days, it. I have to say that the Ministry of... Foreign Affairs has created the dashboard or the platform for you to for apply, you to apply and exactly. for you to pay. Which they said was very effective. And so within okay, a couple of days, 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 you should get it. Yeah. And 150 for uh, you've 48 gone through pages. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I just renewed my passport. Then it so means I, I went through middle. Hey, who charged me that? You went through middle, man. No, no, myself. <laughs> so, 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 you know, when, when, when you have to apply yourself and go through the, di right. the difficulties. It's so daunting. And you need a passport at some point in time. You don't get it. What do you do? You just go and sit home. And that is why we have the backlogs that haven't been collected. 30,000 of taxpayers' tired. money yeah. put into these passports right. and not collected. Right. Mind you, they have paid for the passports. So they should be answering the question, why is it that people have applied and 30,000 people haven't collected the passports? Yeah. Yeah. Passports that they need or right. may not need. Right. Still, they are bona fide property. Right. And now you come and tell us that, oh, we are finished with the passport. Currently, go to some of the offices where we have passports being made. They'll tell you that uh, is it booklets or sheets for making the booklets are finished or are in short supply. Yeah, yeah, you you, yeah. you have them. Sometimes right. you have to go through middlemen. You pay extra cost to go and get these passports. So they shouldn't come and tell us that, oh, as for it's easy to acquire passports in Ghana. It's never, never easy. Make it easy for people to apply. Make it easy for them to get access. And then when they have access, you are not going to have the backlogs that you are experiencing. All throughout the country, getting passports is wahala. Anyway, so first of all, we are going to read that release that came from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration first. Okay, should we do this <clears throat> one first? What it takes for you? Okay, so we'll do the... Which one should we do first? Should we do the release first? No, let's, let's, okay. let's do this, at this. How so, much it would cost yes, you? Yes, this yeah. is what you are eligible to pay when you want your passport application to go through in Ghana. If you want expedited services for the 48-page passport, you pay 200 Ghana cities. Expedited application for 32 pages, you pay 150 Ghana cities. Standard application, I mean, this one would take forever to come, as we have experienced. Um, for 32 pages is 100 Ghana CDs and standard application for 48 pages would also cost you 
150 Ghana cities. If you're watching us this morning, the hashtag is TV3 New Day. Our WhatsApp numbers will be crawling on your screens in no time. Let's know what your experience has been with you um, applying um, for your passport. How long it took for you to even get it? How long it took for you to take your picture after filling the forms? submitting it online i mean most of us have gone through it so i'm sure you are very familiar with what the process is share with us let's know exactly what your experiences have been but the ministry of foreign affairs has issued a communique or a release telling us that about thirty thousand passports have not been collected as of yet so if you are one of those you are um hereby um, should I say admonished, yes, to go pick up your passport. Now, the release which came from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration um, headlines, uncollected passports at various passport application centers. Now, Accra, 30th January 2023, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is telling you um, or wishes to inform the general public, particularly passport applicants, about the urgent need for them to collect their printed passports from the various passport application centers. The ministry is concerned that even though applicants have been informed through text messages <laughs> that their passports have been printed and sent to the various passport application centers, most of them are yet to be collected. Accra and Kumasi passport application centers alone have about 30,000 uncollected passports. In view of the above, the ministry is calling on passport applicants who are yet to collect their passports to visit their respective passport application centers to do so as they would be required for future renewal. Passport applicants can also call the ministry's client service unit on the following numbers to confirm the status of their passport applications. Now, here are the numbers 024. 0793072 or 0240913284 now while thanking the general public for their cooperation on this important matter the ministry takes the opportunity to assure the passport office remains committed to its mandate of delivering enhanced service to the general public and this is to all media houses and to you listening to us this morning if you are one of the 30,000 um, passport applicants in Kumase and in Accra who hasn't picked up their passports yet please you are required or admonished to and, do and, so. and then I'm, I'm, I'm getting um, uh, messages mm. more mm. for example says that mm. I applied no, this, this will be Bansi. Mm. Okay. Okay, this is Muajima. He says, Roland, with a passport issue, people get fed up going for their passports. Mm. Yeah. I applied for mine in July 2022 mm. and have been there unaccountable times mm. and it's still not in. I always have to travel to Cape Coast to check whether it is in or not. This one is coming from Bansi. Bansi says, I applied for a passport in June 2022. My pickup mm. date was 19th December. June. no. Hmm. Mm. When I went there, they said it was not yet in and has not been printed. Mm. And that I should wait until I receive a message before I come. Mm. I'm still waiting. Mm. Hmm. There's a young wow. man who chased it for nine months. Nine. Yes. <coughs> he is one Kofinsia somewhere in the Ashanti region. And he said his wife needed the book urgently to travel outside the country. He started the process in January last year. Mm -mm. And he says, they told me to come the following month for the booklet. Mm -hmm. But instead, I came in May. Mm -hmm. And even then, they told me the uh, passport was still not ready. So mm -hmm. I should come in June. Mm -hmm. I came in June. They said it wasn't ready. Since that time, I've been visiting regularly. And today, which is in November uh, last year, he says, they told me to come two months later. Wow. Yes, two months later. And that is why some people would use unapproved routes because they cannot withstand, um, you know, the protracted uh, exactly, process of yeah. getting your passport. Yeah. I mean, it's quite a difficult task, I won't lie to you. There are people who have been lucky. Right. They've gotten it on time. Yeah. But in fact, even as of November or October last year, they had about 90,000 backlog. Mm -hmm. Remember there was a time when there was a shortage of that booklets. That was a formal booklets. announcement, by yes, the way. Yes, by the foreign that, minister. That, that, had book, <coughs> yeah. that, that booklet it shortage. Was 90, and there are options yeah. that backlog. were available. Yeah. She hmm. was even saying that 32 yeah. pages booklet yeah, had, had run had, out. And so you they were now only ordering. have an option for yeah. 48. Of yeah. course, it was a, a short data period, right? but even more expensive. After some time, when they restored to the normal 22 page booklet printing, 
Nobody knew. Where mm -hmm. do we still... get our passports from? Oh, yes, I the booklet, you mean the you know, list? It's, it's, we, a, it's a security order, document. We so order them. Yeah, you have yeah. to so it has order to come. Yeah. We, well, we cannot well, make well, it ourselves. We have, we, I don't know whether we have printers in Ghana. Some, we do, some, though. Some, I know we have security printers in Ghana. Okay. And then we also do have um, the ones that we import. I know right. a particular uh, gentleman who also was involved in the the imports oh okay uh, and then of, of passports no the booklets, booklets i mean and then they do the packaging and they do here it. and things like that uh, there's a the number of press houses around there are security press houses we can't be mentioning them so. oh, of course of course yeah, so but i do hope that we get to a point where we can actually print our own booklets I think, because I, I think, if we have I, I think to they wait have the abilities as well or yeah, or better yet yeah, just get e-passports i mean the world is advanced so yeah, yeah. Hmm. even if you don't it's have you gonna get no but that would be great no yeah, but seriously yeah. in america great. now I, the producers of these phones I, they don't I, produce the ones with the chips anymore yes they use e so you don't even have to insert i think even there are some service providers now even making payments with your phone yeah even making payments because when you travel okay. you don't have to even and bring yeah, out yeah. your visa card to mm. pay and yeah, yeah. you just tap you just your phone tap on their machine and then yeah. that's it and it takes the money the amounts that you owe and you move on with you, your you life move, that's you what i'm saying on. that we've not even been able to advance true, to that yeah. level yet so i, I don't know whether we can open the phone lines for five, just for five uh, minutes i think we should it, but you guys that's even perfect come on vote it the machine is possible five minutes you give us five yeah maybe we should allow the phone lines difficulties with getting access to passport the ministry of Foreign Affairs as well, like Ghana Immigration Service, they have a backlog of 30,000 of Accra your Kumasi passports alone. you Accra haven't collected. Alone. Accra and Kumasi alone. You haven't collected them. We don't understand why. But perhaps you have some experiences you want to show, share with us. So the numbers are on the screens. Okay. No, yes. Frustration. Yes. So, so okay. we are waiting. 03. 03. 03. 03. 03. Nine seven three one nine eight. I am one four. Jelly, <laughs> it's as if they were holding the phone, ready Nana to King. dial. Nana, Nana King. King, you're calling us from Kaswa. Welcome to TV Three New Day, and good morning to you. Let's hear you. Good morning. I'm Nana King. Now. I'm calling from Kaswa. Right. Turn down the volume of your TV set, please. Speak to and us And listen directly. to us through the phone, not the TV set, honey. Thank you. Uh, all right. All right. Um, I, I also applied for passports. Six months ago. Six months? Six months ago. Yeah, six months ago. Mm. So I was, they, after a month, they asked me to go for biometric. Right. Then after that biometric, they gave me a month to come for my passport. I've been there several, every month I have to go to Accra for, to check up whether my passport is ready. So I get a middle man to take me thousand CDs before I can get my passport. Wow. So maybe they reprinted the, the passport. Meanwhile, maybe I, 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 I had a, a, a middleman uh, too. So, so you think so you, would, the, you would have a duplicate over there sitting there? Yeah, so that uh, may be the problem. That's why we are having so many. Because after taking my passport, they gave me a message again uh, recently that my passport is ready. I should come back and maybe oh. I have a the middleman to, to print out my passport for me. Oh, wait. So after getting the middleman to give you a passport, now the passport office calls you to tell you that your original passport that you applied for on your own is now ready. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Wow. Why did you go through the middleman? Because it was delaying. Because of so the... if you happen to go for it, it means you would have two passports. Yes, please. Yes, please. We wish you well. I hope their identities are the same, though. No, but that's that's, that's a breach of the system. Which one human being yeah. cannot have two passports. So, they'll cancel so that's one. what he's saying. They'll cancel one if he doesn't go for it. And that's waste of the booklet. Yeah, it's because... So I didn't go, so I didn't go for it. All right. Okay. okay. So, thank you, Nana. Nana, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. Well, you can also call us. Mm. The numbers are right there on your screens. But just in case you are not able to call us and you have your passports uncollected, these are the numbers to call to the passport office. 24 Zero seven nine three zero seven two zero two four zero nine one three two eight two. These are the numbers provided by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. You can call the passport office. Let me say it again. I'll take my time. If you're typing it on your phone, you type it. And then if you're writing it down, you can also do so. These are the numbers to the passport office if you have uncollected passports you applied for. Zero two four. 
079-3072 or 024-091-3284. It's right there on your screens. But as you type that phone number, you can also call us on 0302 973198. Mm. Call us and let's know what your experience is. So someone has sent a message and he says, Good mm. morning, Bella. Please come to community for passport office. I've applied. I know that. I applied since September 9, 2022. Mm. Mm. Till date, I haven't received it. Oh, it hasn't been easy for me. September, October, November, Sanchez, December. Three Sanchez. months. Three months. Gilbert. Gilbert is on the line from Cape Coast. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for joining us. So, what is your situation? Oh, Charlie, Ghana, in Ghana, when you want to do a passport, it's very difficult. Because oh, oh no, we yeah. lost him. I'm so sorry. Yeah. See if you can call us back. I mean, I'm sure oh, he had a, yeah, an deliberate. experience to yeah. share. Yeah. But he says in Ghana, dear. anybody who starts with in Ghana, dear, you know that, Charlie, <laughs> the person is gone. And it's not easy. It's not even just passports, mm. but just basic things that you require. Basic. Look at how people were even struggling to get their Ghana card. Yeah. Some people spent days yeah. there Months. just trying to get their Ghana card. Someone had to go just for renewal. And you yeah. think that for renewal, or even if you've lost your Ghana card, it should yeah. be an easier process. Because yeah. your name is integrated they have to go, in the system Come already. back. Go again. Keep coming back. I mean, everything is really very difficult the around here. The institutions always tend to preach and also communicate mm. that it's easy because we now have systems for which you can apply. But in the practical sense, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. make sense. Kwabina, good morning. You're also calling good us morning. from Kumasi. Talk to us. Hey, I'm, oh, I'm calling from, okay, good morning, Bella. Good morning. Uh, speaking. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm calling from Kumasi, Central Region. I also applied my passport, I think, around last year. Um, okay. Mm. I paid 1100 for the passport. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To who? Who did you pay this to, exactly? Yeah, who? to um, this girl, man. The you man, used the a middleman. Yeah. Why yeah, didn't you go online to apply? Why didn't you go online to apply? Was there a difficulty that you faced? I, there was a difficulty. I tried to apply it online. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Okay. So, um, I was... I was supposed to add a phone number and some email. I tried to do that, but it wasn't going through. Mm. So you have to, you have to use the middleman method. The person charged me thousand six hundred. That was two hundred cities for a new bed, for three kids, and thousand four hundred for the passport. Wait. And the person, the person told me that I received the passport in four days time. Uh -huh. Could you believe? The last week, last week, man, it was the day I got my passport. The person told me my passport got missing. Hey. I tried to um, write them up to David, go to some court to do this, do this, up and down, going from Kwati Mampo to Kwati, going back, coming, Bella, out of stress. I had about four opportunities. This will not me lose all those opportunities because my passport was not ready. How did you find... You are going to in the country. How did you find this middleman? Who did someone introduce you, or did you know this person already? I didn't know the person already. Or someone who told me that oh, the woman is very good. She can do. He used another person. Mm. She did him for other. She has to go and see her. She do it for me. Like I said, okay. She has to pay the money to for her to do it for me. And she was requesting money later on. Moving. That's what got me to the floor of force and start on. No moving so, forward, no. moving forward, if you have to renew your passport or if anybody needs to get a passport, would you advise them to go through a middleman or would you ask them to still go through the right channel no matter how difficult that is? For, for me, for me, Bella, I wouldn't advise anyone to see the middleman or I, my best advice is go to the office, go to the passport office, mm. go to the right to put there. Mm. And yeah. if they have to collect yeah. any money from you, you have to record them. You have to record who? The yeah, office so for demanding some money from you? Yeah, that should be the right thing to do that because they, 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 they are really stressing the citizens in the country because <coughs> getting a passport in this country is not easy at all. Mm. I don't know about that. I'm so sorry about it's that. I do hope that you go through the yeah. right channel the next I have this time. One from Thank you so Sibima much. For who, who says that mm. the. Issue is that because going through the normal process is so difficult, people go through the back door to get it. So by the time the normal one is out, they already have it. I believe that's 
what has caused yeah. the current backlog that I'm we have. Sure. So By the, the ministry, time what, the normal one is out? Yes, the one you apply through the normal process. Yeah. Is out. You already have a passport. Yes, through the middleman. So that's no, what's happening I'm sorry. now. So there are so many they, dupes out they, there. They take your biometrics. Exactly. So right? it shouldn't be the case, right? Exactly. Yeah. So even if... Yeah. No, no, no. But even if you go and apply through a middleman and you've already given your details um, to the passport office or you applied online, they should be able to detect... Once there's a uh, reapplication. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if there's a reapplication. Anyway, Evans, you know, good morning. Welcome to TV3 New Day. What is your challenge as well? Tell us. Uh, <laughs> well, mine, mine was an experience. You know, uh, during the Christmas uh, festivities, I applied for this uh, passport. Mm. And they gave me 29th of January for me to come and do my biometric. Ba so, yes, somebody introduced a medal man to me that that person can help me to get the, uh, the thing studiously. So I, 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 I called that man. He collected an amount of 1,500. Mm -hmm. And within one week, I was at the center doing my bi Your biometrics. biometrics. yeah. And within one month, um, I was done. I had my passport. So if even you consider yes, if even you consider the day the day that they gave me for me to come and do by, by, my biometric, it wasn't up to that date that I got my my passport. My, my passport. Mm. Yes. But but do you do you feel bad in any way that you cut corners to get it, or would you blame the system? Ma Madam, a friend of mine did this three years ago because he didn't pay anything to date. He has not gotten any, uh, three uh, years. Gotten Did you just say three years? Passport. Did you say three years ago? My uh, a friend of mine uh -huh. did it three years ago. Yeah, three years. He, he, yeah, he, he didn't want to uh, pass through any, any medal man. And to date, he has not gotten his passport. I'm sure what is his challenge? I'm sure his passport is back what, what has been the excuse that the office has been given to him for not being able to produce his passport? Oh, when, when we went there, uh, in, in fact, that, that friend of mine introduced that medal man to me. So when I was going to collect mine, he asked the medal man, the reason why he has not collected it, he told him point blank that you, you are trying to be stubborn, you don't want to pay anything, so you also, it will take about 10 years for you to get it. So, madam, they told him, if you don't pass through the medal man, you, it means you don't want to travel. Yes. Hey. Okay. Yes, well... madam. I'm, I'm telling you the, 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 the gospel, gospel truth. truth. That is the <laughs> reality you say that. on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing with us. But that's also very frustrating then, yeah. because if we have people in there who deliberately frustrate you to the point where you have to pay some money to a middleman just so they can also get a cut, then that needs to be investigated I as know, well. Right. All those people yeah. need to be taken out. And, and, and that is why I keep saying that the communication by the outfits, and we're not only talking about whether it's a Ghana Migration Service, mm. but particularly the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as a passport office yeah. is, you can go through normal processes and get some of these documentation or services or items. But if ideally those who have overhead supervision, okay, mm -hmm. or oversight supervision, mm -hmm. as far as this is concerned, will make sure they police the system for these processes to work, we wouldn't be having these experiences by right. citizens. Hmm. Because the processes are there. Can we follow the processes and say, one month later, when you say that after I've taken my biometrics, I can have I my can passport, have I'm going to have it, then people will trust the system and go through. But can we cut out the human yes, we face can. of it? Because caller. that's the only way. There's yeah. a caller online. There's a caller online. Good morning. May we know you? Okay, Oscar calling from, from Takwade. Oscar is online from Takwade. Good morning, Oscar. Uh, good morning, uh, Chris, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good, by the grace of God. Let's hear you. Any better experiences? Yes. Uh, good morning. I made my passport last year. When last year? Do you remember the yeah, month? Last year, last year, September. Okay, all right. And up to date, I have not gotten my passport. Anytime you... I go to the office, they will tell me, they will send me a message. You've, you, they've like taken your biometrics, you've taken your passport photo and all, you've done everything? Everything is done. I did it through the, the, the net. Okay. Through and the that net. was last year, everything. September. That was last year, September? Yeah. So up to date, anytime I go there, they'll tell yes. me, they'll send me yes. a message. 
Oscar. Every time I go there, they tell, they send me a message. Oscar, kindly don't listen to us from the TV set. Listen to us through oh. the phone, please. But uh, we okay. provided some numbers this morning from um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. I would advise that you call those numbers. Perhaps yours is amongst the 30,000 that have been uncollected. So I'm sorry you went through what you went through, but please take um, note of those numbers. Call, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. We've got some messages. And uh, one thing I wanted to share is like uh, I saw a middleman. I, I met a middleman to help me get a passport. Okay. 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 Then uh, he told me that uh, I should pay eight million. They can get me the passport. Eight yes. million is when what? I say eight, eight, you mean eight hundred dollars? Eight hundred. Eight hundred. I think I couldn't get them, but I think that you should hold on, not to do it. But I had as my fiance, ah, who can do it? Your fiancé to hard people. So after very signing, they told me the passport was printed from the system. My passport was printed from the system. So the first thing that I called or the middleman I saw, no, I should find out from him whether he had a passport. But when I called the man, the man said he hasn't printed my passport. But the person supposed to help me get a passport says from the system, no, it's already printed. Wow. And they didn't give me a code. That whenever you print it, there's a code that should have been printed the passport out. So you have the code, but you don't have the passport, even though it's been printed yes. already? Yes, please. So who's holding your passport ransom right now? And then the guy, I, 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 I do, I'm calling him, not picking my call. I'll go through the system. You people go through that. That's the problem. So we could don't it, want to so do could what it is right. Thank you very much. So the with the middle This one man. is lost in Jandu. He, he says, bro, I passed through the system and got my passport. But... It is frustrating filling the forms uh, within the processes. But the Goro business is also rife. Mm. The passport was ready on the given date for my experience. Mm. And this one from a call. Anand says, around May last year, I applied for a passport through the Express Channel. My interview date was later for January of this year. So I had no option than to use a friend at the ministry who charged me 500 And within months, I had gotten it. So May, they were giving him an interview date in what january this year huh? so he decided that so like seven months mm, cut i yeah. think it was at the time when there were the shortages were announced mm. let's read comments mm. so good morning my name is caleb from ashali Botri. i applied via the standard 100 ghana city um process and i must say it was not stressful applying online i've gone through the process and i'm waiting to go collect my passport i okay. hope you get it on time yeah. i applied for the renewal of my passport since may last year i went back twice to tamale from borga to no avail i was told they couldn't print i met others with similar fate uh that's books in from borga good morning my name is oscar from takrade since last year september 2022 till date i haven't got my passport and they they're demanding 800 ghana cities before um, I don't even yeah, know. Probably, you know, those middlemen, who knows? Because I need it urgently. So did you pay? You didn't uh, tell oh, us. Oh, that's Oscar, the gentleman who called. Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Oscar, yeah. A very good morning to you, my friends. For me, I had my passport and Ghana card without stress. Should I say I'm lucky? You are lucky. Or maybe the, the system favored you. I didn't you, pay yeah. any extra money for this Michael Sass. And there are a lot of people who have also enjoyed that as well. Johnny, I remember recently he said he went to apply and he didn't have to queue mm. for that long. Mm. I applied for mine in September. I was asked to come for it in 12 weeks. But as of now, my dashboard has not been updated. I've still not received any message. I've been calling and they won't even pick up. That's wow. Nana Chia. Oh, I'm sorry. Good morning to the trio. I applied for a passport in the year December 2018. And within five days, I received mine. I'm enjoying the show. Keep up the good work you guys are doing for Mother Ghana. This is from Mr. Principal. Good morning. I started the process for a passport in December 2021. And I got it in December 2022. Wow. A whole year after. Ni Kwate from Tamale. Wow. Uh, good morning. I'm Arthur. I applied for the standard passport with 32 pages. It took me two months to be able to go for the picture. And guess what? After the picture, on 11 January 2022, I was supposed to go for the passport card, uh, for the passport on 22nd of February, church, church, per the collection church. date on the receipt. But when I went there, um, I well, he says, I went there on several occasions to no avail. I received my passport in December last year. So do you think if I had stopped chasing it, uh, would, would it that be, be my, my fault? fault? 
I mean, yeah. you can't blame people who use middlemen. If I'm chasing it for nine months, one whole year, and I'm still not getting it, and, I, and I, someone says, I, pay yeah, a little and yeah, let me get it for yeah. you. And there are cases when they've gotten it right, in two weeks, right. one month. Right. And now Alvin says, I did my passport, new one and renew one. I paid 600 and 700 respectively. I've currently ap ap applied for a new one in December. I mean, my biometric is scheduled for March. Even with that, I wasn't able to get a 48-page <laughs> option. Now, the 32-page one is also out of supply. Hmm. I'm sure I won't get it until June or even worse. The thing is serious. By, By June, June, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a serious situation. Yeah, it I do so hope that you get your passport. If you haven't picked it up, please go and pick it up. Go and pick it up. I yeah. think your